Friends, Greg Newmaster coming at you again with another action figure review. Today, I have Star Wars The Vintage Collection, Axe Woes from The Mandalorian. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, Axe Woves, I don't really know anything about him, except he was on the show. He was one of Bo-Katan's henchmen, and uh, he just looked cool. Uh, so I saw a whole bunch of these figures at Target lately, and I just had to snag them up. So uh, he just looks great. I love the way Mandalorians look. I love the Mandalorian armor. Uh, I was always a big fan of Boba Fett, and then I was a fan of Jango Fett when he came along and they just started expanding uh, and uh, really filling in the gaps of the Mandalorian lore uh, and then you get to see all the Mandalorians on the Clone Wars and Rebels and whatnot so uh, it's just great and he, he just looks cool so I had to pick this figure up at Target for $15 approximately so let's get into this review um, Vintage Collection uh, what is he? VC228. Uh, this comes from the Mithral, uh, Quill, Bib Fortuna, Lobot, Migs, Mayfeld, Bo Katan, and Cosca Reeves Wave. Um, let's bust him open and get a good look at him. Uh, and he looks really nice. Um, Oh, I just destroyed that pill. <laughs> uh, that's all right, because I don't really care about the package. Uh, oh, by the way, there's there's the card. If you like the the card, that's a nice image of the fella. I don't even know who the actor is, to be honest with you. Um, I should probably learn that, but that's all right. If you guys know who he is, let me know who he is. And if not, I can look him up on IMDb and see. But uh, he comes with one blaster. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the figure is not completely accurate. Um, I think he's missing some details from what I've heard from other people, but he looks great. Nice weathered armor. Uh, just looks really, really nice. Um, there he is from the back. Let's get a good look at the guy's face. And just that photorealistic technology that they could do now at such a small scale is very impressive. Uh, so he looks great, um, and we're going to put a blaster in his hands, and uh, we have this nice, I love how the articulation of the weapons holding a uh, hinge that they started putting in the wrist, this is great for like swords and guns on your figures, uh, it's vertical versus horizontal where they normally would put a horizontal uh, hinge right there and the wrist would go like that instead of like that. So I prefer the up and down motion. It just looks better for posing. Uh, on that note, let's take a look at his articulation. His head's actually really tight because uh, of the padding in the neck, just the way the neck is designed. Uh, he does have the double barbell, but there's not really much movement, at least on my figure. Um, so that is slightly disappointing, but not the end of the world. Uh, we have the nice torso articulation in the center. Uh, he does have a waist cut. So two points of articulation in the torso area. Uh, let's say the elbow joint is, oh yeah, nice, nice bend at 90 degrees. Just a little bit more, which is all you need. I'm, I'm a huge fan of the double joints in the elbows and the knees. But when you do it like this, at this small of a scale, you don't need it. Um, so that's very satisfying for me as a collector. Um, got a little bit of stickiness there in the joints. We got the nice T-joints, which seems to be the new way uh, for the Star Wars figures, which I love. Um, what else? That's what he looks like from the back. Even some loose pieces there, um, which is nice. And there's his holster. Uh, we got a thigh cut, uh, articulation in the knee, more than 90 degrees, which is very nice. So very, they've just improved these figures so much. Um, as a collector, it just makes you feel very happy and joyful. So I'm very pleased that they've done this. Uh, I love, I love when they give you helmeted figures where you can actually slide the helmet on and off versus um uh switching the head but however this this helmet is big man so it actually looks a little uh 
disproportionate because the helmet is so big. Uh, does his viewfinder come down? Uh, it's looking like it doesn't. So uh, this little antenna or viewfinder does not come down on him. And here is his jetpack. And that looks very nice. So the helmet actually looks, uh, it, wow, it does look excessive. Um, unlike with Boba Fett, where you can remove the helmet, it doesn't look excessive. So here's a comparison with the Boba Fett figure. And I don't know what it is about Axe Wove's helmet, but it just, it looks too long. And it looks too wide. His, his head looks gigantic compared to Boba Fett. Where you can remove the helmet and it looks like he has a perfectly small head so you can put the helmet on it and it just doesn't look excessively uh, out of proportion. But uh, it looks a little odd I'm going to say for Axe Woves. So here is, um, to get a comparison, here's the Death Watch figure. Uh, and this is a sculpted head with the double barbell uh, pin joint and you can't. Uh, you can't remove the helmet as you could with this. So, I don't know. He looks, he looks just a little bit wonky. Um, but I'm happy to have him. So, anyhow, if you like the video, guys, please like and subscribe. And uh, pick them up at Target if you see them. Because these figures are out there in the wild. And it's really hard to get them normally. So, God bless you all. Peace.